Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mateo Potato video and this time we're taking a look at something different. Now Lego Castle has been a huge part of my collection for a long time now and honestly it's been kind of hard to buy castle sets because they're always either extremely expensive or extremely hard to find so the fact that Lego is giving us a gift with purchase of the Forestmen no less which is one of my absolute favorite factions in Lego Castle is absolutely tremendous. Usually I don't take a look at box art stuff but I thought maybe this would be really cool because not only is it honoring the 90th anniversary of Lego with the 90th anniversary logo down here in the corner but it's also honoring the old box art with the yellow background and the Forestman hideout and it even shows some you know, action sots of the build on the back side kind of like how the old sets used to show alternate builds on the back but let's go ahead and crack this thing open. In the box, you get two number one bags and two number two bags. Let's go ahead and start building this baby. All right, and here is the final set, and I am really digging this. I'm a sucker for anything Forestman, and this set, it, it just makes me very, very happy. It's a nice size, decent size, actually, especially for a gift of purchase. And overall, I think the building experience was a lot of fun. Um, it wasn't as repetitive as I thought it was going to be. And uh, I like how just the foliage of the tree goes all the way around, even to the backside here. There's a little entrance gap here that I didn't even notice while I was building that's kind of hidden by this, you know, fauna or floral stuff. First and foremost though, let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. And here are the two minifigures, and man, I could not be more happy with these two. They are almost perfect updates to the classic Forestman. Um, right down to the torsos that even have some updated printing, I really like the cross stitch that's going on in the front of their vests. The colors, how they pr match pretty much spot on. And I'm kind of glad that they went with the red choice as opposed to like the blue, the black, or just the plain green. Um, it really makes it pop against the, you know, the, the, the rest of the tree hideout. For comparison, here they are with a classic Forestman. Um, I think this is the only red one that I have and his cap is brown, but I, I really like how this one's Green it kind of gives some variation in there and I like how after all this time this piece still looks good um, On a minifigure like the Robin Hood hat still looks great and yeah, they're like I'm, I'm just really happy that these guys exist I'm really happy with like their updated printing uh, No back printing on this guy, but if you look Here they're the same so I'll just show that off right there um, you got some updated torso printing here. I think it's the same on this gentleman as well. The back of the torsos are the exact same. I thought maybe because it was a male and female, they would do the Lego thing and make the female body line a little bit closer inwards. But no, good on them. They're the same torso. And if somehow you get, you know, more than one of these and you want to add more female, Forcemen or force people to your uh, your little band of misfits, then then you can. Now onto the main build, and honestly, this set is really great. It's a lot of fun to build. I also love that they brought back these forcemen shield pieces. I love how those came back. 
um, because we haven't seen one of these in a while. And if you have some sets like the Santa Claus Sleigh from a couple of years ago or the Elf's Club from a couple of years ago that have the reindeer animal mold, uh, you could put some forestmen riding some reindeer and have them, you know, riding their kind of sigil, which I think would look really neat. Uh, around the back side, you have this, uh, the, some weapon storage with the spear. They brought back this classic tree piece, which I haven't seen in a long time, and I'm actually really happy that they did. I was just thinking about that the other day, um, about how, you know, I kind of miss those pieces. You can open it right up, and there's everything inside. Um, obviously, it's just a hideout. It's not like a whole forestman fortress or anything, um, but you do have... Some little neat things that can go on in here. I have this barrel. It's got some gold studs in it. A little bit of an empty w w hallway right here. Um, the box actually shows you kind of like leaning the sword in that corner. So I guess you could do that with the second sword that you get. You just kind of put it right there, I guess. You also have this ladder. And that leads to a little balcony where... Instead of her, we'll put the archer up here. And he can kind of look out. There's not a lot of room to stand up here. Um, you only get four studs, really, to stand up there. And then you can have the archer kind of poking his little, his little arrow out from the little slot in the window. So he can get, like, a good shot on some... You know, some knights, or maybe cause an ambush, or whichever. And the fact that it folds up so cleanly and looks so good like this, I I'm very, very happy with how this looks. And plus, if you keep it folded, it kind of, you know, makes the whole tree look like a, a, a full-on tree. So I'm I'm very happy with that. Um, the only thing I didn't really mention is a little, little target build for the archer to shoot at. Um, so that's really neat. This whole set is a huge win for me. Castle has been a huge thing for me lately as far as my Lego collecting goes. Like, it's, I try to only buy castle sets, which is very hard to do right now as they are, some of them can run you a pretty penny. However, I think this, the fact that this is a free gift, you know, with, I think it's a $160 purchase, if you decide to buy the blacksmith shop and you haven't yet, buy the blacksmith shop and you get this. And you get two castle sets in one. Uh, or buy two of the three in one castle and you get a giant castle and then some other build. You can either build the windmill wall or the giant tower and connect those together. And you still get this, uh, this castle build. And this is a whole lot of fun. This is the best gift with purchase that LEGO has had in a while. I really did like the last one, like the Cosmic Cardboard Adventure, but... I think because this is Castle and because this is like the whole 90th anniversary deal, uh, it, it really does a great job at just kind of hitting the nostalgia feels and being a good remake of an old set. And that's about it for me, guys. Um, if you really like this sort of LEGO review thing, let me know down below and I will probably do some more sets in the future. I have a couple more builds that I would like to show off, especially some, some castle stuff, both from almost 20 years ago, almost 40 years ago, and some newer stuff that is uh, kind of in the same vein. So let me know what you think, like, subscribe, do whatever it is you guys do, and I will see you all in the next video. And until then, bye bye